So the US has been independent for what, like 60 years now? Uh, 1776 uh, is the Declaration of Independence and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know about this whole like federal government thing, presidential republic. Here's what we're gonna do. Today we're gonna restore the US to the powerhouse that it could have been by uh, generating a monarchy and uh, trying to create serfdom, if I'm able to. Uh, we'll see. How I'm gonna do this? No idea. I have not thought that far ahead. Just realized this mug makes it look like I'm taking a massive L. So, <laughs> if I don't manage to do this, that is a premonition. So the US starts as the number six ranked great power, pretty good GDP, very, very high population, and also one of the few nations that actually have jail entries. Unfortunately for us, uh, that's resulting in the American Civil War. So I have to ban slavery, otherwise I'm gonna have a civil war. I think I'm just gonna fight the civil war, but on the side of the Confederates, I think that would be a smart thing to do. In the meantime, we need to get Texan statehood in and try and, yeah, develop our economy, do all that good stuff. Uh, Cause we wanna be still be a strong nation. I'm not trying to nation ruin here. I just want us to be a monarchy when we do it. There's so much liberty here. All right, what are the people of America? Wow, oh, God, we have no. What happened to our cotton plantations? That was sort of the big thing. Uh, right, we need grain, we need cotton. Oh man, all right, well first let's sort our resource industry. I wonder where we're gonna put the cotton plants. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you don't know, uh, the Americans in this period of history, pretty bad. And my camera is not focusing on me. Doesn't want me talking about the American uh, crimes against, well, basically humanity. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple more construction centers. Cause America can easily become a powerhouse. Oh, uh, <laughs> think it. Oh no, they're losing. Boys. Yeah, if they win one battle, uh, then the Texans get to stay independent. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened in this game. In this game, the Texans have definitively been defeated. Oh well. <laughs> Oregon Borders Street will activate if the US has an interest in the Pacific Coast. I feel like doing that might trigger something with the British. I want to be in a stronger position before I do something like that. God, we need so much fabric. My God, okay. You know what? Instead of getting fabric, let's just focus on our industries. Um, and I'll sort out fabric, I'll import fabric for now. Because I don't want to like sit here and just create plantations left, right and center. Tooling workshops, uh, I want to get some steel mills. We do, I do need iron to be fair. All right, let's get the Democrats in. Okay, apparently the best option is that. I need the evangelicals in. I don't know, a bit of a slave state? Because we want to win American Civil War as the Confederates. This isn't going to look good when this comes out, is it? I think it's time to drink from the L mug. <laughs> that coffee's very cold. <laughs> it takes a while for me to set up my uh, my recording. Yeah, we're just gonna keep removing the bump. My bad. Uh, I do want more landowner political threat strength because they would... Actually, I think they're opposed to me, the petty bourgeoisie or not. I might be able to trigger this now if I bring the evangelicals into government. I'd love to just do that, but I have to put the intelligentsia as well. Okay, okay, let's give this a shot. I think we have to be discriminatory. So I'm gonna cancel that because that'll give them too much power and they're trying to storm me through a revolution. Yeah, somehow I think that there is gonna be a civil war. Wait, no, only a strong... Guiding hand, the hand of a divinely chosen king. I'll do it. Only they can stop this madness, and it's gonna happen now. King Andrew Jack, that's cursed if that happens. Gold foil crown, oh no. Nice, it went up to 30%, okay, sweet. I'm gonna do what George Washington should have done. Taking the crown. Come on, 39%, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What all happens with the Civil War? If it splits, is it split into two monarchies? Better feelings, damn it. Getting some really bad events here. I also need to uh, bolster you and bolster you. Yeah, so I'm creating a steel industry uh, for which there is no point, but that's fine. That's part of the plan. Yeah, there's no steel because there's no motor industries. I'm really building up New York quite a, quite a substantial amount here. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know if there are slave states. <laughs> they aren't, to be clear. I'm also kind of uh, nervous because I feel like everything that I... <gasps> the United Sovereign Archduchy. Oh, that is... <laughs> Oh no! Right, so if I wanted to get serfdom, I have to switch over my economic laws first to traditionalism. But no one wants that. Okay, we're gonna have to transition society first. This is gonna kill my economy. I mean, it's not. It's gonna spike it, probably. Right, I'm gonna have to go to transition to a resource-based economy. Okay, you want me to ban slavery? I can ban slavery. It stops the civil war. It's a weird state. <laughs> it's a very strange one. Yeah, my economy is not, not like, Scarrow like it probably should. So who would be opposed to me, you know, having an autocracy? The landowners would like me. Let's see how this goes. All right, a rap hoe is up against us. That's fine. Very close to a revolution here before the Civil War. Right, they don't actually have any troops, so I'll just march in. Reject it and have it state by state, which hopefully won't cause a revolution just yet. Don't tell me it went awry. More trailer tears. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Florida's not an incorporated state. We should probably, you know, incorporate these worlds, like these places. Why is why is Florida not incorporated? Here we go. Watch this. Seven point nine percent. Easy. Yeah, there was no way. Dude, I'm happy to lose prestige. I don't care about my global standing. I care about my uh, internal security. America first, all that lot. And by America first, I mean the United Sovereign Archduchy. Why are we an Archduchy? Like, that feels strange to me. We're one of the great powers. Oh, wait, we'll complete. So, uh, wait, I don't... Uh, oh, that was a very low percentage chance. Okay, we are now an autocratic monarchy. Welcome to the United States of America. I mean, the United Sovereign Archduchy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Freedom of thought. Yeah. I don't think we have that one, chief. All right, grain, clothes, food, cheese, so much stuff. All right, let's get some grain going. It's a much nicer color. Munchie, okay, yeah, you're not. Can I, I can help you, bud. But then you're just a, no, I kind of just can't get straight. All right, now we want to help out the landowners. We're starting to feel it. All right, government-wise, we have no legitimacy, but now we do, buddies. Now we do. All right, what are we lacking? We glass, all right. Get some of that going. If this queue is entirely too long, I shouldn't be building things in terms of five. We are not at that level yet. All right. Law enforcement's increased to three. All right, we're on our way to being a police state. So like modern day America. No, late, late. Calm down. <sighs> don't make any jokes because people think that it's your actual political views. Don't make any political views because people think that they're jokes. You don't do this. Write in the comments down below. Your no, don't please don't write your hottest political take. Please, God, don't. Unless it's a historical one, like I don't know. I think that the Assyrian Empire should have maintained control. This kind of stuff. Let's not. You know what? I've got a great segue. To get me out of it. I was gonna show off my cat uh, to try and like get rid of the political stuff, but she's, she's very wet, so I want to put it down. So wet. I mean, she, well, she's come from outside and it's raining, so <laughs> just ignore me. <laughs> just go about your day. <laughs> oh man, I'm seeing more from the not Austria in this game, like their GDP skyrocket. So we'll see if that is, looks like it is taking place this time around as well. It used to be France, trading it with Brazil. Here we go. I reckon I start manifest destiny. That sounds like fun. Uh, I mean, hang on, let's check. 35, 45, do we have an army? 45, 50. Um, don't actually have that many. Well, let's declare that. That'll trigger a few things when it turns up. We're gonna have the Oregon border dispute soon. Manifest destiny. Okay, so for this, we need to murder Mexico. <laughs> so, hey dude, uh, I, I want Mexican Colorado. You're actually gonna fight? Uh, okay, I need to actually add war goals then. I'll just take all of it. Uh, and give you war operations. Okay, I didn't actually expect him to, to fight. Uh, I haven't mobilized anything. <laughs> Alright, well this actually kind of works. It means I can get everything in one war. Instead of them backing down. Oh boy. Uh, pfft, I did not expect. I actually have to fight. So, you know what we'll do? Uh, so you're from the Midwest, right? You're from the Midwest, you're from Dixie. Let's just activate some people. There you go, you should get... There you go, you should get people coming now. All right, he actually doesn't have anyone here. Rather interesting. Bold strategy there. Okay, this is gonna create a lot of issues for me. I've just realized. Wait, where, where are you from? I could probably land some troops. So you're lacking dyes, and I'm assuming you're lacking. That yeah, also dies. Just need glass. Jesus. Running a massive economy is actually kind of issue. I, I like it when I have to make my own from scratch because then I know exactly like the ins and outs of it off the top of my head. In Mexico has a professional army, right? With only 17 conscripts. So if he's got most of his guys here. My thinking, firstly, absolutely slaughter the bison. Secondly, my thinking is that if I recruit a guy in New England, hold up, <laughs> hold up, Robert Lee, I want to be in Dixie. Mobilize him, and then we'll naval invade. Let's speed up this entire thing. Why can't I get the thing where, um, I mean, it was like in my Indian uh, territory game, uh, where I fought, where the US fought the, uh, the Mexicans. Oh, there you go, look, I've taken Mexico HQ. The US fought the Mexicans, and then I was taken out. <laughs> It should be done very soon. I do have his capital and, you know, most of his land. He's just tied up here. I think one of the admirals died. There you go. Right. So we have most of the US. And what are we lacking these days? We've got loads of fabric, which is nice. We just need all of the bloody resources on Earth. Furniture. I right, let me incorporate all these lands. Screw it. Let's get some construction centers. Not that many, please. Like, don't add... I just... I love that shift key. It adds five. It's great. I didn't realize that was a thing before. And so now I, I do it automatically, which is a terrible idea. For things like construction centers. Because that will bankrupt me. I could probably deal with four. That will also bump up our taxation. We want a dedicated police force. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I need more power to the landowners. Monument to the emperor. Yes, please. So why are we sovereign archduchy for an empire then, eh? Go win wood as well. Can I need Texas? 
I need Utah. Is this Utah? I don't know where Utah is. Utah? Utah. Let's research quinine and then I can map the Western frontier. I believe I need to do. How do you pronounce that? Quinine? 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 I'm quite far away from that. Um, actually, I'm not. I just need pharmaceuticals and then I'm there. You know what will help? Um, we need to go and grab some universities. What's a, what's a place that's not renowned for being smart in America? Not Alabama, isn't it? I hate to... Why have I just... I've just outed... <laughs> Why do I do this? <laughs> Right, I'll put three in Alabama and three in Florida. Because stereotypically, from an English perspective, kind of looks like that. All right, Utah is now a state. Wonderful. More bisons. Yep, kill all of the bisons, lads. So do we not have a claim on Texas? I feel like we should. I know what you're thinking, Leith. How are you going to fund this American United Sovereign Archduchy thing? Gold. That's how, boys. Gold. I like this. Censorship. Nice. Do it. I need to improve fertilizer. I don't know I'm not using it. Okay, I need fertilizer. Uh, North Carolina. That's going to be my hub for uh, for all things fertilizer. Congratulations. As you can see, the motor industry has already been built. I don't need to worry about things like that. I don't even need to subsidize my railways. Yeah, sure. Kill each other. That's that's how we like to do things in the United Sovereign Archduchy. Oh, no. At least one of these. United Sovereign Archduchies enacted no colonial affairs, so don't colonize, or we don't discriminate, or they... There are no Cherokee populations remaining. Uh, this is not going to be a good look for me. <laughs> Let's focus on other things, like... Uh, um, how much innovation we're getting, guys? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, God, you can see minus five from book burning. <laughs> this is not an ideal state to live in if you are, um, you know, of a modern uh, persuasion. Having said that, no, don't don't say don't say the political joke. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me? Okay, well, we have censorship enabled now. We need to change our economic law and then we can get serfdom back. I kind of want to secure myself an economy before that. <laughs> Personal preference. All right, we have loads of grain, wood we've got. We need some railways, railways, wood, tools. Let's go tools first. In Ohio, let's get some railways going. I kind of want to make the more profitable version of railways. For those you don't know, you can switch over to wooden passenger carriers. It gives you less infrastructure, but more transportation. We're going to do that because then I can go to, for example, my cotton plantations and go to rail planted. Rail transportation. And that just gives me an excuse to build railways everywhere. All right, Daniel Tarbox, you got kidney stones, but I need you to murder the Iron Confederacy. They're not related. I just felt the need to tell you. Okay, we have way too much gold. Uh, I should do it. They got better defense than I do. Good job, lads. Where's Nebraska? Uh, they're making up states now. Where is... Okay, this is Nebraska. Okay, we're gonna need even more construction centers. Let's get some out on the west coast. Oh, we've annexed the Iron Confederacy. They're all starving to death. Ah, we've got the Frontier Wars. Hey, we did it. Last vestige of Native American rule have been stamped out. Okay, maybe I shouldn't yell out, yay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. God, America was like pure evil during this time, man. Oh, we have enough power to begin the world over again. A situation similar to the present hath not happened since the days of Noah until now. The birthday of a new world is at hand. This was our destiny. Hooray. <laughs> All right, when can I go up against you again? 52 in a year. Finally, we're starting to lose money. I don't know if I should go segregationist or not. Because like, it kind of fits the theme if we're like regressing as a society into like monarchy. Isn't that like a good thing for us? GDP's number seven. What's the Austrian GDP? All right, I want to start focusing on the GDP a little bit. Uh, I feel like the last couple of videos, I really haven't done that, which is weird because it's a, it's a game all about that. Don't need loads more fertilizer. It's all not as important as okay, wood, clothes, and services. Dude, Ohio is really getting it. Like, there's a lot of good stuff in Ohio. So we've colonized everything that we can colonize, right? Da -da 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 -da. Go ahead and uh, establish a damn look at that. That's a that's a real quick colony. Well. Oh. There's that. We already have a conscription center there. That's the first thing we built. You well, Moroccan GDP check. <laughs> Morocco. 2.4 mil. Tunis, you embarrass me every time. <sighs> you what? Tripolitania has a bigger GDP than Tunis. How have you managed that? It's a smaller population with less literacy and no natural resources at all. What are you even making guns? All right, yeah, it's, that's, that's Libyan. Did I research Green Line yet? No, I'm researching. Yeah, I did. Wait, I need to take a decision. Map the American frontier. Let's do that. Ooh, I know one of these is going to be good at it. Zachary Taylor. I can't choose him. What about you? Damn it. I can't choose the only one that's useful for this. All right, go on, Tarbox. Jesus Christ. All right, explore his life for me. Yeah, we'll just take it slow, bud. Okay, just don't get any peril, please. Yeah, I've never actually played America before. This is the first time. Dude, the Mosquito Kingdom. <laughs> they bowed out of there real quick. I just need Texas from them. You're really going to fight this, dude. Really? 
All right, same strat as before. Ten sun boys. Okay, where are you from, Zachary? Up there. All right. And so Ohio boys are going to have to win the day for us. They are the backbone of our industry, which is rather strange to say. But also the backbone of our military. I, Ohio is the most important state in the Union. Uh, not the... Well, the, the Empire. All right, well, we've taken the capital again. Did they not think that we would try the same strategy again when it worked so well last time? The Mosquito Kingdom are gone. So Nebraska, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada. Utah, Nebraska... Where's Wyoming? What do I need? What, Nebraska, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada. Just held them at the border here and blitzed them from behind. Apparently, I, th I think we've lost maybe six people in this war. Yeah, no, 7.7k. Mexican concession or secession, sorry. We've wrested control of the American Southwest from the illegitimate clutches of Mexico, the United Sovereign Duchy, <laughs> Sovereign Archduchy. I realize why they've said that now because it's, so it's still USA. Now stretched from the Atlantic to the Pacific. I've right, almost finished this. We also took a, a tree port. I just thought it'd be fun. I've got a baby traveling with me, so I just keep on doing that. All right, nice. We've discovered or mapped the Great Salt Lake. We're not at peace. Oh, um. All right, let's do that again. Same guy gone. Did well last time, mate. This time we don't have a native baby with us, so no one's going to help us. First transcontinental railway. We did it. Let's settle the West Coast. All right, we've mapped the Oregon Trail. That was a lot quicker than the last one. I think this is the final one now. <gasps> We'd actually get Zachary Taylor involved. He's an actual explorer. Nice. They call it Mount Taylor after him. Okay, that's a bit on the nose, isn't it? All right, we've got a baby. It's very useful. All right, Oregon Treaty. Wonderful. So they just give us stuff. Look at that. Excellent. Yeah, France doesn't seem to be too, too hot. Uh, Paris has is, uh, is kind of been encircled. You are failing this last expedition. I just can't get through. The first two were easy. Let's get Daniel Tarbox back on it. He did well the last two. The guy that's an actual explorer hasn't been doing too well. <sighs> It's the prettiest color in the game. Corsica, let's go. Okay, I've got to play as Corsica now. Look at that. They're like what Sardinia Piedmont should have been. Like a neon blue. We're getting the same events over and over again as well. Weird looking Denmark. Is that just what their flag looks like? There we go. That's that map. All right, we've mapped the entirety of the Western Frontier. Excellent. Let's go ahead and negotiate the purchase. Oh, God, that's 4.13 million. All right, that's a lot of money we're now spending. But we have Alaska. More importantly, Alaska has gold. All right, so who actually wants to abolish stuff to the Southern planters? I just can't change my economic system to traditionalism. If I do it to an agrarianism first, let's see what the evangelicals can offer me. Get a state religion going. Let's do that. If we regress it in stages, we should start to be able to get serfdom because serfdom is going to be hard to do. In the meantime, should we just go and mess with Africa? <laughs> get an industrial port going. I need ironclads, man. Then I can start taking up the Europeans. And that'll be fun. All right, well, we've got state religion. It's nice. I just don't think there's any way of me getting this. I'm surprised that the uh, landowners don't want it. Because they sure as hell want serfdom. We are now an absolute empire. <laughs> All right, let's actually switch this up into everyone using dynamite. That's going to create a shortage. Up until I switch over to the chemical plants, of which there aren't many. Do this. Should hopefully facilitate everything that we need. To be fair, I think conquering Europe might be an idea. Could be quite amusing. Now oh, I've got ironclads. Excellent. And that should go quite nicely for us. Texas is a really underdeveloped state. Um, what we're going to do is get some shipyards here. And these are going to be exclusively, extensively. Well, three more declared interests. Uh, where else can I colonize? Pretty sure that's pretty much it. Uh, let's declare one in Iberia anyway. And North Africa. All right, Moroccan GDP check. Three mil. Nice. Oh, how have you GDP? How's your GDP drop? Jesus Christ, Tuna. I'm tempted to like tag switch into you to check out what the hell happened. What did you do? You haven't, you, but you've got nothing but trade centers, but you have nothing to trade. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is a mess. I don't want to look at that anymore. Right, Tripoli. My, uh, my golden boy. Yeah, you, yeah. Okay. What happened? You get kicked out? Oh, the Wallachians are free. What? Oh, no, they're not. They're just a puppet of the Russians. The Russians have stomped. The Ottomans, okay. See what's going on here. Oh god, my general. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna return the general's sleep. Uh, we're also gonna incorporate this place. There's 500,000 people on it. Let's go murder the Mexicans. That'll just puppet them. We'll take a state and then puppet them. The French wanna get involved. Sure, dude. I don't see how it's a good idea for you, but okay. Alright. Time for the Ohio boys to show the frogs what they're capable of. And, you know, the rest of the Midwest. Meanwhile, Robert E. Lee. You're gonna get, actually, you're gonna get a couple more people on your side as well. Grab a couple of this lot for him. Yeah, I don't, don't really care about Senegal. Why do you not have any ironclads? I mean, shipyards building ironclads, do we? Right, where are the shipyards? The only thing in Florida is a university. <laughs> this seems uh, strange. Aha, shipyard. Okay, get some military shipbuilding going. I will subsidize you. Is the French haven't actually put men here. <laughs> so, I'm just going to advance. I'm going to do the same thing we always do. Try to take over the world. I don't care about Senegal, Chief. Just need you to uh, to nip into Mexico for me. 
Whenever you're ready. Uh, what? Okay, 99%. No, no, no that's 94%. 99% mobilization. Ni still not 99%. What does it mean waiting for troops to mobilize? Oh, right, waiting for the conscripts. Apparently, we have a shortage of ammunition that I do need to solve. Otherwise, we're going to lose this war. The French aren't going to get here in time. <laughs> nice. Our offense and defense is terrible, but he has no morale, so we're okay. Got to fix this supply shortage, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. I'll take Mexico City before the French arrive, please. Why am I so keen to peace out? What? Minus two because enemy controls 100% of the war target. Why am I going to peace out? They don't own anything of mine. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I, I, I'm more likely to peace out than he is. And I will go below because apparently enemy controls 100% of their war goals. It's, it's just war operations. I also own 100%. Okay, I think we're going to peace them out before they peace us out. Right, we need the chemical plants actually producing stuff. How many chemical plants do we have? Seven. Oh boy. Okay. All right, you're in time. Just peace out. There we go. Wonderful. That's the Mexicans puffed. We're also destroying the French Navy because we have, you know, ironclads. And that should be it. Mexican, the Mexican flag after they've been annihilated is not exactly the nicest. Right, apparently the fishing wolves use clippers. That's kind of outdated, lads. I need naval bases in the Pacific, lads. Do I address the fact that it's been a whole day since I last played this? You know, with the change in shirt and shower and stuff. <laughs> Look, Victoria 3 takes a, a lot longer than EU4 and, and CK3 to record. Um, so, bear that in mind. <laughs> Check out the Austrian GDP. Yeah. If our IGP is looking pretty good, that, that is a dramatic drop. I'm assuming they had a revolution or something. And um, that'll probably be where they annexed uh, the rest of the Italians. I kind of want to unite my West African land. So, there we go. He's back down. Is this incorporated? Do I incorporate this? It'll take 20 years. All right, we need to do our lands here. Everyone opposes switching to traditionalism because I can't really get surfed and abolished. Be racist. Yeah, sure. Why not? What are you lacking? You're lacking artillery. Okay. I'm going to build some arms industries on the west coast, and this lot will be exclusively artillery. So now we've got electricity, I should probably start producing it. I don't want to put it in Guinea. Uh, let's put some in Minnesota. Go. Can I make Senegal a state? I kind of want to do that. Oh, Canada's formed. That makes life a lot easier for when I want to take them. Because then I surely should be able to just transfer subject, right? I have to attack the Brits directly. I can make Spain my puppet. <laughs> Get another 40. You, and then I believe Daniel Tarbox, you're from... I'm sorry. Uh, okay, yeah. So you'll have 40. I'll be take up 60, and then we need another 40 up here. So we've got two navies. Be useful. Robert E. Lee needs another bunch of barracks. Daniel Tarbox also needs quite a few more. Not in Rio Grande. Excellent. We are now racing. Well, I think we always were. Who do we go after? I'm assuming Portugal is like a nice little foothold into Europe. I kind of want to go for the big boys. <laughs> Britain's going to go puppet Burma. I'm sure to make ports in these areas. Otherwise, they're just going to, you know. Also, kind of doesn't feel like my problem. But I guess, I guess it should. Because then if I actually accidentally build anything here, they can ship it to me. Oh my god, there are so many small islands. <laughs> this was such a mistake. Some down here as well. Am I sharing this with someone? Who else is here? Oh, man. It looks like someone dropped an island onto the floor and it's shattered into a bunch of smaller islands. It looks like England and France are fighting. This is my chance to nick Canada. Oh, one of my generals died. Yeah, you're brave. I'll take you. Thomas Jackson. All right. Building a bunch of electricity. So then I can go ahead and do this. Rural. Where are my logging camps? Put you guys over to electric saws. Uh, steel. Okay. Yeah, just lots of steel. All right. We can, we can sort that. We can sort that. We can just build a bunch of steel. Let's put a bunch of these in the, uh, the new places. The Windward Coast. I don't know where the Windward Coast is. Can I, like, Windward Coast? Build these steel mines there. I'm ignoring all of the natural resources, which is usually what you're meant to be building in, uh, in colonies. Instead, just going, right, lads. I need all hands on deck for the steel mills. Uh, actually, I need some more construction sectors if I'm not losing money. So, let's build those things first. I'm gonna build them in the south. Considering for what is, and if I don't ban slavery, then... I don't have revolution, which doesn't make sense. You, you know, growing tensions were going to happen even if the federal government didn't ban slavery. It, I don't know. I think, the Amer I think the American Civil War should happen unless you do very specific things to try and reduce the disparity between the two. Maybe you dominate one side politically. Um, let's say you just remove all the political power of the southern landowners, and then you can enforce banning slavery and vice versa. I don't think that this would have taken place uh, as is, because it doesn't make sense to me that if I just don't ban slavery, that suddenly the North is going to be like, well, boys, we tried, because that implies that we're just right now we're playing as the North, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm coming across how I want to, but if by not banning slavery, it prevents the Civil War, it implies that you're playing as the North because you're taking all the actions, if that makes sense. I think I butchered that even more with the second explanation, but now I feel shy, so I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to explain it further. Meanwhile, let's have a look at the colonization of Volta. It's like Malta, but we basically own a lot of West Africa. 
which is nice. Do you have any buildings? Nope. Just trade centers. Do a quick Moroccan GDP check. What the hell happened here? Did you join a market? I assume you did. Yeah, I joined an Italian customs union. Okay, fair play. What about Tunis? Okay, you've also done well. I'm assuming you also joined a customs union. Yep, the Italian one. What about Tripoli? So here you can see how they did not join a customs union. I respect that. They're part of the Italian market, the French market over here in Algeria. The Spanish have joined the Austrian market. That'll be why the Austrians have done so well, because they've got everyone in their market, including the Scandinavians. The Persians have joined the Qing market. Interesting. No one has joined the Ottoman market. And the Brazilians have joined the French market. Okay. There is a sweet spot for when to fight other Europe. Uh, I say other Europeans if we're Europeans. Uh, it's before trench infantry. Because trench infantry increases, as you can see here, this, your offense is going to increase by 10, but your defense is going to increase by 20. Uh, and it's hard for you to catch provinces, and it starts to represent the idea that people just stopped pushing forwards. Which I think is a little bit early for trench warfare. 1870? I, I don't know. But yeah, especially naval invading, it's going to become ridiculously hard. Having said that, there is a tech that you can take that will ignore difficult... Here we go. Ignore all difficult land encounters. So we need that before we can fight the French. Now, let me show you something about the uh, English Navy that I've showed everyone many times before. Maybe it's changed, but yeah, no, it hasn't. They don't change their Navy to uh, ironclads, presumably because it's very expensive because they have a lot of ships. But that means that they've got 30 offense and 30 defense. Right? So despite the fact that Great Britain itself has 150 flotillas and we have 42, our ships are way better. <laughs> We've already got a good admiral. Oh, good. Wait, I think it was in New York that I built a bunch of naval bases. Wow, they got employed super quick. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm a war. One second, I'm just sort of sorting out isolated. Uh, apparently, coal and engines are expensive, so let's build some of those. I don't know how much of our GDP comes from Ohio. A lot of it comes from Pennsylvania, but Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Well, how good is Minnesota nowadays? Let's check. Damn, Ohio actually is one of the most productive states in America, but I can't see Minnesota. Minnesota seems to be halfway. Better than Arizona, worse than Minnesota, but worse than Tennessee. All oh, right, yeah, we're at war. Um, go murder that lot, please. Okay, I've got loads of interest uh, over here. North Africa. East Africa, more East Africa. Uh, kind of want a treaty port in uh, Ching. That's what all the cool kids are doing. 62 offense, 83 defense. Versus 4751 from the French and 1665 from the Brits. If we had an offensive general, I might be able to do it. Although we're trenching for tree now. After this war, switch it out and then fight the uh, English for control. We're going to take the Monroe Doctrine to the extreme. Just, just goes to show the Americans could have been the number one great power. If all they did was switch over to a monarchy. You know, ignore the rest of history. But it's fine. <laughs> all right, landing craft as well. It's going to be useful for when we try and blitz the UK. And we'll annex you. Thank you. And then we could establish a colony over here. All right, switch over to trench infantry. They need hardwood. Just gonna import it from everyone. Low government legitimacy, why? All right, just kick out the evangelists and done. As people get richer, they tend to not want to uh, oppress the poor as much, which I find highly unrealistic. Like, put some liquor, let's put some steel, apparently import some explosives, furniture to keep people happy, clothes, you know, 40k from tariffs. I don't have enough hardwood. Buy me a logging camp, you. And then expand a bunch. I missed something up there. Probably something important. Playing the Cladus says their rival. Spain. All oh, right, yeah, number nine great power. I'm number three. There are levels to this game. Get on mine. What happened to the French? Why are they so... They have launched a native uprising. That did not take long. We're literally taking over most of Africa. This is great. How long does it take for these colonies? Not that long. Oh, because our ruler tree is ex an expert colonial administrator. That's what he's about. Nice. And he's disliked because he has a psychological affliction. Oh, poorly understood. War in the mud was successfully completed. Yeah, okay, sure. We brought our navy along. <laughs> nice. 123 defense. Yeah, we've got to gotta take advantage of this, take out the English. Dude, the Austrian GDP is double everyone else's. It's insane. That is the most upwards graph I've ever seen. Oil in the Sahara. Lads, we made it! <laughs> Quick uh, Africa GDP check. Boys, you're all going to be rich. And by you, I mean... I'm gonna be rich. All right, let's get some oil rigs going. Oh, we've got some domestic oil as well. Okay, well, let's just build a bunch of those for now. So you have 30 flotillas, despite the fact there are, oh, there's only 10 in the naval base here. Could have sworn I did more. All right, let's go off to Canada. Ontario or something. Transfer the British Raj. That's a good idea. This is going to make me a pariah. Ooh, I kinda want Canada though. A lot of this plan relies on uh, quite heavily on me being able to evade the UK. They're gonna back down, really? Wait, Jambi joined in for Mexican war reps. That's a lot of English troops. Activate the Dixie boys. Oh, they are gonna fight it. All right, here we go. The blitz in from the west. 
96 defense. Okay. We are going to have some issues with this. The issue is they're going to fight the Mexicans. Is there any way of stopping that? This is what I don't like. Okay, the Mexicans aren't here anymore. That's what I hate, honestly, about this game is that um, they'll engage, for example, the Mexican army, which is objectively weaker than my own. And that's a good thing for them. Like, I wish you could tell your puppets where to go. Yeah, not breaking through, are they? Okay. Gotta love just raiding the hell out of people. Because <laughs> they have no supply. No issue. The only issue is Canada is a massive place. So stomping through it takes a few years. Yeah, somehow I'm not really scared of Jafar bin Nick. He has zero supply. <laughs> On James Longstreet. Push up the middle, please. In fact, Mr. Longstreet, if you don't mind taking over Mr. Lee's position, I have a plan for him. Seems to be having some issues over there in Britain. Ah, the English Channel. Jesus Christ, the sheer amount of quantity of troops that you kill in naval battles is ridiculous. And they're dead. Ah, oh, would you look at this? No one's home. <laughs> Boys, we need you to abandon America. But there's enough time for us to wipe out most of England. Go, 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 go. Robert Lee's doing it himself. There we go. Wonderful. So we've got Canada, British War Operations. And the East India Company. <laughs> that is a horrifying flag. Well, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> I think we just overtook Britain. There's the number well, no, Britain was is the number five group, but we overtook France. The Austrians, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I can deal with. We have double France's GDP, but they have almost double ours. And whereas I was able to starve the British uh, through naval warfare, um, the Austrians have a really strong industrial base just here. Like Britain relies on its colonies and I sort of cut that off. We've got Russia, Brazil, we'll pop it Brazil, war rep the Russians, both great powers. We can't really do anything to them. We can have a personal union with uh, the Grand Duchy of Finland. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it's everything I got. Yeah, Prussia and bargaining us, not that much of an issue. Just a cheeky naval invasion of, uh... oh, there we go. Of Brazil first. That is a weird way to show that map mode. Thank you. Robert E. Lee will go over there. Yeah, there's no like borders over here. Except the coast. I'm pretty sure I should now have the tiers on the other side. Okay, everyone's embargoing me. That's fine. We're self subsistent, really. Why is everyone in turmoil? We're winning. I forgot I had uh, <laughs> La Plata. <laughs> okay. We just sort of split Argentina in two. It's fine. I just cannot believe. Look, Great Britain has the Falkland Islands. I can't believe this, considering Argentina is so close. I would never do something like that. <laughs> All right, 25 days. Let's plot more declared interests. Uh, the other parts of Africa. That feels appropriate. I like a secret service, man. I was about to say, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you got ironclads. Look at that. It's a shame about, you know, the rest of it. Got your ass beat, dude. It's a lot of casualties. Did you try to land troops on me? It's a lot of troops turning up. Okay. Uh, let's mobilize Longstreet. Chuck him in here. And let's raid convoys. Does mean I don't have another navy to defend my uh, main areas, but that's okay. Sure, we'll be fine. Do have the Pacific coast? It's going to take a while. <laughs> the sheer quantity of troops that are going to turn up here. And fingers crossed, starve. Okay, loads of people want slavery banned. Uh-oh. It looks like some supplies are starting to take a tumble. Brazil should be fine, but the rest of you, yeah, here we go. Their supplies, oh, they're dwindling, boys. To be fair, so are Canada's, Canada's and uh, Mexico's. That's fine. Because suddenly their defense is down to 18. All right, also there's a native uprising against me over here. And I have a spare couple of troops somewhere. Um, Yeah, in Senegal. It's like a really, that is probably the best defensive commander I've ever seen. Expert defensive strategist, so that's plus 30. And also plus 30 base as well. All right. Oh, you're going to go over there. Revolutionary Canada. Where's your capital? Presumably this province. Any other generals I can get? Uh, I can get another three in the Midwest. He's an offensive guy. I might mobilize a few people then in the Midwest. But it doesn't tell you which conscription center they belong to. Why would it not tell you? That's the, that's the annoying thing. I can't tell. Great Plains, Midwest. So you're a Midwest guy, right? Yeah, you're a Midwest guy. Wait a second. If I activate you... Does that mean... Because I don't really want a Midwest guy. I activated some, con some conscripts for no reason, I think. Okay, anyway. Midwest. Do that. i to keep an eye on that revolution of my own. Okay, you're advancing. Why are you not, like... Yeah, but advanced, though. It's not impossible terrain, so just just advance. <laughs> oh, man. Raiding's fun. Okay, if I take to defend the front. Okay, it's because the war hadn't actually started yet. Not bad. Wait, like, why aren't you marching to territories? Because he's not at war. All right, we've puppeted Brazil. Probably the worst flag I've ever seen. About to take out this lot as well. Revolutionary Canada's getting a knocking. Uh, all right, we're going to send Robert Lee to, to navally invade St. Petersburg. This one's going to be a little bit trickier to, to deal with. Uh, in fact, I might want to shock an aura. Let's cancel that. Let's put it in uh, Pomerania. We need to take Prussia. All right, we took out the Canadian Revolt. 
I'm about to win four wars all in one. Okay, you need to go right over there. Vacuum canning, sounds good to me. Expensive goods of steel, steamers, glass, paper. All right, let's get some shipyards. <gasps> Robert Lee died on the way. Okay, right, we've got to get another one. To be fair, you're the Midwest guy, right? No, you're Senegalese. Dixie, Pacific Coast. Yeah, you're pretty good. I need someone in New England. American Chad. You can't just invade over here. All right, Danville. What a stupid name. Raid them. Got no general there, and it's just the Senegalese troops. So we're gonna land, despite everything. Oh, it's gonna be close. Actually, I don't think we are gonna land. Four, three, two, one, 900 troops. Oh, it's gonna be so close. He keeps on just getting more troops from somewhere. 100, he's got like 60, 12. Nope, uh, less than 100. Nice, okay, we made it. He's got no one here. All right, Philip Sheridan. He's an experienced defensive planner. Let's get him in. We've kicked them out of uh, wh wh wherever this is. We need iron. Do we have just a general iron shortage? We do. We get it from the Italians. Plus, we can build our own. We've just got to hold on to what we got. Which I feel like we'll do with 162 defense. Jesus. Which one of you is the offensive guy? You're offensive. Thomas Jackson. You're the defense guy. Let's get you defending then. All right, they are sort of slowly forcing us out a little bit. But I have a surprise for them. I'm invading from behind. All right, we've made landfall. Uh, I need to get more men into there. Okay, this guy's the super defense guy, so you're going to hold our territories over there. Philip, you go that way. Onwards, my boys. <laughs> Come on, 92. We just got to distract them long enough. They actually did it. Okay, war reps. Nice. So at this point, I hate this system. Okay, there we go. We need as many fronts as possible. He's currently engaged in battle. No, he's not currently engaged in battle. But we're not at war with the Prussians anymore. Why is my war support going down? But why is it below zero? Go get it. The Russians have 26 offense. Oh my god. Their conscription centers, that's why. They don't actually, they can't, they don't have the opium. They're already just really basic. We're literally draining them. <laughs> they don't have men for this. God, the American menace. Ah, oh, we're destroying his ships. He's got, he lost 20,000. They're through. They're in. But wait. There's more. They surely don't have enough generals for all these fronts. We're just rinsing them. We're slowing down over here. Okay, these have seemingly merged into one front. There are a lot of troops, man, but they suck. <laughs> He's still using, like, those are conscripts. They're basic conscripts. There we go. Russian war operations and Finland. Ah, oh, wonderful. And there's a native uprising in Papua, which means we'll take that land. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we'll leave it today. Not a bad showing at all. The Austrians are terrifying. They are ridiculous uh, with their GDP, but we have a hold in Europe. Also, a lot of Africa belongs to us. Um, if I were to continue this, I reckon I would just, because of the color, I would hold the entirety of the new world, because uh, why not? Invade Portugal and probably puppet Spain, uh, and then use that as a launching platform into, into France. Um, the main issues we would have is uh, Austria, but we could take out Britain really easily because of our navy. No one else could probably land troops. Um, yeah. I know, we feel technolo I feel technologically ahead of everyone anyway. Uh, and our GDP is quite nicely set up. So yeah, that is uh, America as a monarchy. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any other ideas for the kinds of content you want to see on this game or indeed others, please do let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, boys, I will see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to our patrons. Most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.